Hi, I'm Chris with Fish Buzz TV here at World of Beer. We're gonna tie some gurglers. They're a great topwater fly. Anything that's aggressive will hit it. Um, freshwater and saltwater applications. I love it. It's one of my favorite go-to flies. All right, so we have the thread started already on the hook. Basically, we're going to get some craft fur. We're going to have a craft fur tail, just like this one has. What you want to do is get a clump of the craft fur, and we're going to nip it off. All right, so pull out some of the underbrush. And this will work, this will work for a tail. It's gonna be a shrimpy looking uh, gurgler today. I have pink, a little tan, and uh, we're going to wrap it under the thread. Do a few wraps over, one, two, three, four, five. All right, and sometimes you'll have excess. I like clipping it off. It doesn't matter because you're gonna end up covering that with thread sooner or later anyways. So make sure that's nice and secure. The next step, we're going to add the foam body. I already cut a strip, you know, a few inches long. You always cut it longer than you think you need because you can always cut it down later. So I have, I have this strip, uh, strip, it's about um, a quarter inch in diameter. And I'm gonna cut, I like cutting a little triangle piece like that to attach it. So you're gonna face it back so it's riding back on the fly, tie it in. Don't tie it too tight, you'll end up cutting the foam. Just do even wraps over it. All right, so now it's tied in. So now we're gonna add the underbody. Uh, we have some hackle feathers right here, uh, very, just rooster, you can use schloppen. Um, then I'm gonna also attach my estaz or cactus chenille, it doesn't matter. Just something to give it a little body fur. So first you wanna tie in your feathers. It doesn't matter how it looks, just tie them in. It can look really just rough. So then you're going to leave that tied in and now you're gonna tie over that some cactus chenille. All right, so now I have that attached. Now I'm gonna take the thread, I'm gonna move it to the front of the hook. Wrap it up and do maybe a half hitch just to secure it right before the eye of the hook. I'm gonna bring around the bobbin holder, set it right there. And now you're gonna wrap first your chenille. Just wrap it further up the hook. You see how it covered up all that that loose craft that was tied in there. So now, we wrapped it further all the way to the eye and just tie it off. All right, snip the excess. Boom. All right, now do another half hitch at the eye of the hook. Bring back your bobbin holder. Now you're just gonna take your feathers that so you doubled up and just wrap those all the way up the hook shank. So, tie that off once you get to the eye of the hook. Snip the excess. Now, last step, we're going to push these hairs down a little bit and so you have the foam folded over right at the eye of the hook. You're just gonna wrap loosely, one, two, and then lock down the foam. So now we're going to either whip finish right here or you can move it back to the eye of the hook. And what I like to do also is just trim, trim the head down a little bit, there we go. And last step, whip finish, and you're set. One, two, three. Three or four times, it doesn't matter. Just lock it in. Snip the excess. All right, so we have the final product. Very simple, it looks like a little shrimp, um, shrimpy colors. 
It's great. Um, you can use anything for the underbody. This is actually glow-in-the-dark EP. It was kind of a neat idea. You just use it at night for maybe nighttime snook and nighttime tarpon. Um, then we have the black and purple. I used rabbit instead of the craft fur shrimp tail. And I also put some uh, ostrich under it. But uh, it's a very simple pattern and you can tie it with thick or thin foam. Um, just get out there and sling it and catch some fish.